Okay, so that's the picture. Um, okay, so we're going to let, uh, right away, here's what I'm going to do. D is going to be the foot from I to BC. And then I bet I know what that point is. Reflect D line A M. Oh uh, no, I don't know what that point is. Never mind. Wait, no, that's that's not supposed. To... I am, I am. We're gonna call this point T. The reason I recognize this point T is because I put a um commodity. Yeah. So let me ignore A K. Actually, for that matter, let me ignore K for now. All right. Um, but that point T is, looks like it's a reflection across IM. Yeah, 2015. I proposed a problem that was very similar to this, at least in the points that were present. So I'm going to hide I'm going to hide that for now. And I'm going to first use the fact that AT is a segment that passes through let E equals 2 times N minus D. This is AE. F is 2 times E minus I. So the, the well-known configurations being used here for the Olympia definition of well-known, which apparently is everything that has appeared before. Um, this is the antipode. Um, this is the X touch point. So that homothety goes there. And there's a circle. This is a right angle. So this is also a right angle because this is like a midpoint. So MT is also a tangent. This is a long story short. This is the this is the configuration I used in my TST problem. So that's the point T. The claim is that AKT is okay. So KT looks like it's going to be collinear too. Let me write all this down. Mm. So MT is a tangent, so they're reflections. And um, well, the homothety that sends there's a homothety at T, which sends AF to KD for some point K, and has a tangency. So we're going to redefine K to be uh, let K prime equals TD intersect um, A alt. Mm, no, no, no. And then you get the desired homothety. So because this was an antipode, now you have a homothety there. And. What will happen to my... Why can't I change the color? Blue circle, all right. So then get desired tangent C. So all I need to do is show that AI is perpendicular to MK prime. Okay, so um, I want something about that point there. Why is MT tangent? Um, so MT will equal MD is the short story. So you have this right triangle where M is the midpoint of DE. And so MD equals ME equals MT, and that's how you get the tangency. Okay, what is this point L? It's that point, really? That's so weird. So we've redefined it and Basically, I want to show. T. Well, 
What does this have to do with I? I guess it's because AK is a diameter. Yeah, so AK is a diameter, but I'm trying to see why a KLM collinear. Um, or equivalently, why AIL collinear in this picture. So LK, is LK equal to LT? Is that what's up? So, um, let L be the intersection of KM with the blue circle. Then I want to show LK is equal to LT. If I pull that back, that's some statement. Um, what statement? Someone actually got enough points for a 180 second ad break? Are you serious? Is MT a tangent? Yes, MT is tangent. <laughs> so I'll solve this problem, then I'll take an ad break because I want to stand up anyways. Then we'll uh, run the other problem over, and then I will increase the cost of 180 ad break by a factor of 2. Uh, <laughs> Oh my god, someone actually got enough for it. I mean, I'll keep my word, but like, what the heck? <sighs> shoot, shoot, shoot. No, what am I missing? I know exactly where the tendency point is. Um. <laughs> So there was a thing I noticed earlier that I thought was funny, um, which is that line LD appears to pass through that point on the end circle too. Maybe I want to pull that out. Oh no, never mind. It's not even true. Never mind. I was like, why is that possibly true? <sighs> okay, well, I want to use homothody somehow. So FD. There's homothody here. It sends F here, D here, T goes to a point. Is that the midpoint of the altitude? No, it's not, right? No way. That's just the midpoint of it, okay? That doesn't really help me, I guess. Uh, TL triangle bisector of... So for Dr. Rodman's question, um, I have a cap on the number of 30 second ad breaks that you can run per stream because I don't want to just be running ads nonstop. It must be midpoint AK, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... What am I missing? I know it's on the circle. I just want it to be LK equals LT. It's a right triangle. Actually, L is a circumcircle of KTE, right? Or circumcent, no. What? That's not true, that's not true. Ignore that. Um, So for the direction, follow the text. So we're letting E be here, T is here. We're gonna let, I'll, I'll rename K to K prime. So I've let K prime be T to intersect the altitude. Oops. What, what am I typing? TMLD is cyclic? No, can't be. Oh, TMLD, uh, that's possible actually. Ah, okay, that's gonna do it. That will do it. There, that's the bit I was missing. So if I define this, then why is that cyclic? Um, I just need...
Okay, that should just be angle chase then, right? So angle, directed angle TLK is equal to directed angle TA, sorry, TLK prime is equal to TAK prime equals TMK prime equals TML. Or sorry, not T TMK, T TMD. Uh, let me get the direct angles right. T O M is T L K prime. T A K prime. It's D M T. Uh, T M D. Let's just do it that way. Okay, fix my angle chase up. There we go, that's better. Which GeoGebra mode is that? This is GeoGebra 5. I just can't figure out how to use GGB 6. I've been using GGB 5 for too long. Uh, did I mess up the diameter? Yeah. Okay, so those four, so TLMD is cyclic. But now TIDLM is cyclic, so uh, IML is 90 degree as desired. That was very cute. I agree. This is a cute problem. And we did it. Yeah, this one's really good. If it showed, this would have been a great JMO problem, actually. It's very American, though. Mm. No, L is defined as the green line intersect the blue circle, and then you show it lies on the yellow circle. It is, in fact, JMO for Japan MO. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's so nice that point is cyclic. Yeah, this is a good geo from. Okay, so someone redeemed a 180 second ad break, and I keep my word, but I'm def doubling the cost after today. Um, I don't even know where the 180 second ad break button is. I can't believe I have to use this button today. All right.